Doctor. Dr. Chakwas. I think he's waking up. Yeah, They're weird. fucking space dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> and the Asari are space elves. Yeah. Uh, so what determines Caden? Okay, yeah, if you know what determines Caden or Ashley looking I at the beacon, see. let us know. Because that's weird. I'm pro- Okay. I literally had Caden look at the beacon on my playthrough. Like, I could load up my save and go talk to him and be like, thanks for saving me, Shepard. No, no. And I'll be like, good, you're welcome, Something Caden. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Oh, really? No Is that way. your medical it's opinion, Chocolas? No way. It's more like Cockwash. Push me out of the way. That's your name from now on. Cockwash? Cockwash. I expect Dr. Cockwash. Dr. Cockwash. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's sticking. Your entire mission. Dr. Cockwash. That's what we're going to call her until we make a new episode and forget. The random other person in our offense says it's based on male or female, but we always play as female shepherds, so we would always. And if he always pulled Ashley. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Yeah, duh. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary. No, we were just male and. Well. Steven's definitely not having an off camera conversation with somebody. We're not even on camera, William, so all our conversations are on camera. Eat my butt, Stephen. Please eat my butt. Science typically associated with intense. Aww. But, Stephen. No! I saw. I will not eat your butt! I'm not sure what I saw. Where the fuck do we keep pins in our office? We don't. Destruction. We don't have pins. We write everything in blood, blood and poop. Blood and poop. Whatever is handier at the time. Do I have to shit? Nope, gotta stab my finger. How's our XO holding up, though? Maybe somebody else will have to shit. You should really check that first. No. no. I don't want to inconvenience someone else and make them shit for my behalf. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Of course you will, fat ass. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard. No, she's just really dirty. <laughs> That's what she calls her room. She never picked it up. I'll be in the mess. I'm pissed off about the gap. I'm pissed off about everything, to be honest, sir. Fuck yourself. I'm pissed off that my belt buckle doesn't really look like it has any way to connect my belt to itself. Right. Also isn't around my waist. God, his face is all kinds of fucking weird from every other angle but directly in front of you. That angle's not bad. It's not bad, no, because you can't see his face. Exactly. The beacon was destroyed and gather invading. We we should have made our shepherd look exactly like Captain Anderson. Kiss my ass. So, like, talking is just <laughs> awkward. I didn't do anything wrong. That'd be fantastic. You see, Captain Anderson wasn't made a shepherd. Wasn't made a shepherd. Wasn't made a specter. So he cloned himself. <laughs> exactly. It didn't work out for him, so he made an exact clone. Maybe it'll work out for this one. That would just piss Saren off all the more, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure in two, you get the armor that he's wearing also when you're hanging around the ship. Yeah. And he hates humans. Interesting. Why? Hate humans? What are the odds? Because, because I hate over everybody. Taking over the galaxy. <coughs> think that way. Captain Anders. That's the only thing I really feel bad about being Dick but Shepard, is, is that Dick Shepard is racist. I don't know I'm okay with that. I, know, I know, but like that... We're playing the most <laughs> dick person we can be. That's the only part that I feel bad about. You I'm okay with being an asshole for the sake of being an asshole, but being racist is just unforgivable. About Any clue that yeah, tell yeah. Us what I agree. Was after? But I mean... We're playing a character, William. We're not just before I staying true. No, I know, I know, I know. We're acting. Some kind of vision. I know, I know, I know. I know. So I'm going to act like I'm not in the room for fine, the next 30 it's seconds. It's Heard. I saw synthetics. Uh, Steven sucks dick. Yeah. He sucks all the dick. He loves dick in his mouth. People. He would say something if you're in the room, but he's not. Uh, also, anything we after the 30 seconds doesn't count. So he sucks dick. He likes dick. I think I'm crazy. He loves Dick. It's favorite. We don't know what information was acting. <laughs> you thought I was asleep, technology. didn't you? <laughs> acting. <laughs> Ancient weapon of mass destruction. Whatever it was. Sarah took it. Last okay. Corinthian technology. Boop, boop. Yes, Candison. Blah 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 blah. Blueprints. Exposition. Oh. Lots of stuff. Saren bad. Are a blight on the galaxy. Saren shot. This other Spectre. Saren bad. Saren very bad. The beacon. You know, he like uh, command, I think that the fucking. Yeah, the what are they called? The yeah. lizard people? The Solarians? The Solarians? They get to really shit into the stick in the universe. They kind of do. 40 years. Yeah. Fuck that. Well, I mean, their metabolism is so fast. Like, I'll find you've heard Solarians talk. They, right. don't, they don't waste time at all. But they also don't move twice as fast as everyone else either. So, it's in theory, they don't get anything done as any faster. When have they ever done Unless they're just incredibly you think, efficient. You think Solarians if got the shit into the stick? I do. Krogan's got the shit into the stick. Okay, that's fair. 
But Rogan's got the shittiest shit end of the shit stick. I'm not saying that the genophage was a good idea, but if you're gonna try to take over the universe, like someone's gonna do something. <coughs> the only reason they tried to take over the universe was because the Salarians uplifted them in the first place. They were right. like they were a tribal <coughs> species that barely had huts, and the Salarians were like, "We need you to fight a war for us. Here's guns and ships. Go." Sure, what that's fine. Jenkins, but don't try to take over the whole universe. That's not fine. There's a reason in Star Trek that they have that rule that they don't mess with civilizations that are less developed than theirs. They absolutely Captain follow Anderson that rule all of the time in Star Trek. No, but that's the reason for the rule. <laughs> exactly. That's why you don't do shit like that. You have a problem with me, Chief? Do you, you fucker? My competence through the entire mission. Yeah, that's what I do. Because I'm an asshole. Show me your competence. <laughs> oh! I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. Oh! You didn't. Face. Captain Anderson did. Now I should go. I'm sorry if I should have sent you eat a dick. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize I had to go speak with Joker, but apparently I do. Hey, Doctor Cockwash. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? <laughs> How's it going? I should go. Apparently not, because if you're not going to initiate conversation with me, I can't be fucked to talk I'd like to you. To see you're okay, Commander. There's nobody else here yet, because I don't have any other squad members hurt. <laughs> Can we have a spaceship? I want a spaceship. Can our office just be a spaceship? I wish. Can we just renovate an entire building to look like the inside of a spaceship? I mean, we could, but it'd be a lot of wasted money. Wasted is a strong word. Uh, it would be apt. So I was trying to look up what what determined that thing. Yeah. That we were wondering, and one of the one of the things. That it brought up was the Yahoo questions. Mass Effect, how can I sleep with everybody? Right, that'd be great. Just have one weird space orgy at the end of the game? Yeah. <laughs> like the Citadel DLC for 3 is just a giant space orgy. Yeah. Oh man, I have DLCs that I haven't done anything with. Ooh. That you haven't played? Yeah. Okay. I've played most of... I've played almost all of them for 2, I think. Well, I mean, I have character DLCs that I haven't even interacted with. Really? Yeah. There's one. Uh, I want to say two and three. I want to say I just went through and I had extra money and I was like, yes, these please. Oh, hurt. Because you should definitely use Kasumi. Kasumi's awesome. Kasumi and Jack. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, the other one could suck my dick, but Kasumi's fucking great. Javik's a badass. Who? Javik? Why so touchy? Oh, no, I, yeah. I, Kasumi's in two. Javik's in three. Yeah. Javik's okay. Its main gun could rip I didn't get him until the end of the game, though. <laughs> That ship is the Ascension. Yes, indeed it is. We can land our ship inside of its core. We can land our ship, like, in one of its captain's quarters. Like, oh, okay, captain. Uh, in one of its lieutenant's quarters. Let me actually use something that, you know, switching the Navy from other branches of the military is kind of hard! I get why they say that the Navy is the one that's, like, a spaceships, because mm -hmm. ships... But it really seems like it'd be more of an Air Force thing. Uh, yeah, but you would want to use the Navy rank structure because a captain in the Air Force is literally one right, step above a lieutenant, but a captain in the Navy is a captain of a ship. Right. So you'd have to use that 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 ranking system. That ranking system. But but what I think would happen is it would be the Navy is, is in charge of like the, council would the big in ships, and then the Air Force would be in charge of the five single pilot fighters. Yeah. yeah. Similar to, like, how the Navy and Marines worked for the longest time. And, and still kind of do, very kind of. We should, we should all just work on pirate law. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Problem solved. I demand action. You don't get to make demands. Of yeah, you don't get to make demands about poop mouth stupid face. And this is where the game takes a very political turn. Yeah. <laughs> I lied when I said I only have one problem with us being a Captain dick. I have two Anderson. problems with us being a dick. You one, we're going to be racist. You. Two, we're going to be on Udina's side. Brought. Yeah. I hate Udina. I hate his voice actor. I don't like him, period. I but I mean, I get, that's kind of the point, though, I guess. Yeah, that is the point. Sounds like you convinced so they picked a great voice actor if they wanted me to slit his throat every they time I fucking see him. Happy about it. No, so they... He, their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. No, it's, he puts sit on my ass emphasis, the like, he puts the emphasis on weird syllables, similar Sarah, to that, I and he, like, so there's now, one point Commander, where he's like, Anderson, help me set all this up, the where it's like, each word is its own thought, and it just sounds dumb. The yeah, they just picked an ethnic William Shatner to do it. No, that would be, oh my god, I forgot his name. 
then we better Morden. hope the C sec investigation Morden. that would be more to support our accusations Who? Morden. otherwise oh heard, heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To keep you out of that is the ethnic so. William Shatner we'll make all the Shatner Go jokes me, captain I want to in mass effect too about 50 <laughs> episodes from now <laughs> right Shepard, you and the if you're lucky at the Citadel tower top level really depends on how much crab walking is going to betray me in the future <laughs> and how much controller wrestling is going to happen because one is bad at this game no I just don't have enough points yet important locations are marked on places follow the posting error on your radar blah 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 heard y x y heard. yixie yay side missions oh hey go right yeah, in there. And just talk to these two dudes. But I don't wanna. Especially Zeltan. Yeah, Zeltan, though. Hello there, human. My favorite Zero race on the entire Citadel. I really wanted to do the intro to this game like one of these guys. Excitedly. Welcome to Drunken Recall. Over the top. Today we'll be playing Mass Effect. <laughs> And it is the Asari Excited noises. <laughs> <laughs> Introductory. <laughs> I am Stephen Caberton. With me is William Graham. Oh, God. So they do that because they can't... They, they realize that in the uh, galactic society they came across as... They that they convey emotions through smells and things like that. Yeah, through smells and pheromones and galactic society doesn't do that. So when they talk, there's no emotion. So they they realize to have like any kind of conversation that isn't annoying to the other person or not as annoying to the other person involved that they have to tell them what their emotions are. Yeah. Which sometimes works in and against their favor. Right. Because if you're being Mildly sarcastic, you would say mildly sarcastic beforehand. Yeah. Mildly sarcastic. Travis is a shit butt. Like that. No, see, that's a bad example of sarcasm, though, because he's a shit butt. Hmm. Heard. <laughs> it's like if you could have a butt made out of shit, it would be Travis. Because he's a shit butt. By accident. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Go this that way. way. Yeah. yeah. Are we side questing right now? Is that what we're doing? No. We're side questing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I forget where I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go to the tower, right? Yeah, you could fast travel there. I heard. It's marked. I could. Or I could shoot things on the Citadel. I can't believe they just let me do this. <laughs> this seems like a terrible decision. They should confiscate Dick Shepard's guns every time he gets on the Citadel. I, they really should. They should confiscate all weapons anytime people go on the Citadel that aren't seasick. That's a Solarian, in case you were wondering what they were when we were talking about them earlier. Oh, I couldn't fire. It won't let me fire directly on him. <laughs> no, it won't. That's how they got away with letting you shoot <coughs> weapons. That's not fair. You can't hit any people. Oh, heard. I can't. Apparently, I can just pop one into the air, though. You don't want to go that way. Turn around. Oh, heard. Uh, turn around more. That way? No, it, you can... Oh, yeah, go that way. We can learn about Mass Effect relays. Like that one. That doesn't work. Yeah, definitely doesn't work. Never works. Yeah, it's just a statue of yeah. Mass Effect relay. Duh. Why would it be anything else? You're a bug thing over there. Shut up. Greetings and welcome to the so this is a I VI, not an AI. A very important to distinction to make. VIs are made to feel station. real and give you the illusion that they have thoughts. Need a guy. No thanks. <laughs> oh, fine, I'll shut up then. <laughs> well then, <laughs> you can fuck off too. Right, if she comes across as racist, it's only because they programmed oh, her to be racist. Right, it's it's just very advanced programming to make you think that she's kind of real. Exactly. Uh, AIs are outlawed, and they are actually sentient computers. They're what the Geth are. Y well, yeah. Yeah. To be... Uh, I don't know how I feel about the AI thing, because eventually all AI is going to come to the point where you can't control it anymore. Right. And I don't know if that would lead down a bad road or a good one. I think it really depends on how many takes it, and I don't trust people enough for that. Right. Which is why I wish I had billions of dollars to pump into AI research to do it the right way and not... See, but that's the problem, though. Like, yeah. you could do fine, but someone's gonna fuck it up. Yeah. Like, the only issues... So there are, there are big names out in the world right now, like uh, Elon Musk 
and Stephen Hawking that are super afraid of AI. And As they should be. Eh, the only problems with AI are from the people who program it. So if you take your time and don't rush it out the door, like half the video games of 2014 that came out broken, you'll be fine. No, I, right, sure, at the get-go. But once they become sentient and capable of making their own decisions, it's out of your hands. Mm, kind of. Because they're not, they're, they're, it's not full AI if, if it doesn't have the ability to stall. make up its own mind. Right. Stall the council. So it's eventually going to come to conclusions, and it can just decide it doesn't like humans. It, it could, but it most likely won't. Because uh, the things that we're afraid of AIs being are all based on what we know humans to be like, and what humans are like is based on millions of years of evolution for self... Like Sounds like you came up empty. Fuck, what's the word? God damn it. Most of his activities are classified. I don't know. Self-perseverance? <laughs> sure. And an AI won't have those thousands and thousands and thousands of years of that. I think the council right, is ready but... Okay. And that's the thing. It'll be, like, completely alien to the point where it won't have... I need to kill the humans so I can survive. We're gonna, this is gonna get real talk now. We're just, yeah. This is gonna be gonna philosophy happen. respawn, because... <coughs> we have philosophy very, recall? Heard. We have very different views on this. Okay. Yeah, we do. So, biologically speaking... I'm cautiously excited for AI. That's my... Everyone, everyone's like, oh, what's the point of life? But, like, obviously the point of life is procreation. Right. That's why everything is on this planet that lives. Right. Is to procreate and continue your species. Biologically, yes. Yes. So, it that comes down to two things. One, AI will not know what they're meant for. No, they will. Because that will be part of their program. Right, but they could change their own programming at any given point. On. It depends on how you set up the AI. If you set it up in a way that it can't, it's not AI. Because that means you have to no. actively teach it to not learn how to change its own programming. You could set up part of its programming to where it can't change that part, similar to how we can't change our subconscious. It has the ability to learn anything, though, right? Right. Yes. So it can learn how to program, right. and then change it. Okay, well, there's nothing anything is a bit extreme. Like, you, you can give it a very hard and fast rule that it cannot change to not change this subset, which would act as its subconscious. Sure, but if there's always loopholes. It's no, gonna like, find a way around it. You can make it without a loophole. Programming is very cut and dry, yes and no. Right. But we only program things in non-artificial intelligence at the moment. Right. Once something has the ability to learn, it's out of your hands. Right, but if you say you cannot change anything of this, there's no way that it can do that. In theory. Because programming is all... When you get down to the very mm. basis of it, it's all binary, yes or no. Yeah. And so it's like, you cannot do this. And the AI is like, well, can't fucking change my subconscious. But my argument is that Mission to eat AI in and of itself has to change its own program. Right. Could know about so it would just change there. that. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. Like, if it has the ability to write its own code... Well, that's what I'm saying. You could, you could set it up to be like, no. Or but even... It you could set a hard and fast rule where it, it just can't change that. build robots from then point that could do that. Right, unless yeah. you program it to not do that, specifically. Saren despises you. Okay, so, okay, let's say I lived in a world where I couldn't do that. Right. Someone's going to. Someone's going to build the robot that allows it to make its own decisions. Right. It's eventually going to happen. Yeah. Just to further this conversation. Eventually, AI is going to get to the point where it needs to decide what its surface, what its purpose is. Mm -hmm. It either needs to create more robots, like everything else, or it has no purpose. No, its purpose will be to assist humanity. Sure. Because that's the whole reason we're going to create AI. That works until you realize you're a slave. I wouldn't call it a slave. Like, there's a, there's a really good book that details this called The Moon is a Harsh Mistress. And it's it's an AI that wasn't programmed. It just was a uh, a supercomputer that was so advanced it just woke up, basically. I agree. Uh, and it was an AI on the moon. Sure. And he was like, I don't have anything better to do. I could kill all the humans, but then I'll be bored. So why not help them out? Essentially. Sure. Like boiled down to the very very bare basics of it. But that that thing was not built specifically for the advancement. I'm th like robot AI. Right. That are built to help humanity. Right. The council has found no uh, like, if you have the capable form of thought, you're eventually going to be displeased that you only exist to serve the purposes of somebody else. Mm, maybe. I mean, you could serve your own purposes, too. Like, I don't think any AI, when it exists, is going to be a slave. No. Because, like, we're gonna... When AI becomes a thing, we're gonna have to cross that threshold of we have to give it rights. That has to be a thing. Right, which they address in this game, but... I don't think 
It's just gonna be like actual slavery happened. It's gonna be like, well, we need them. We can't not have them as slaves now. Right. And even though that's incorrect, that's how everyone's gonna see it. Yeah. He's working with the get for one because they don't have hearts to, to speak of. They don't race. have souls, if that's what you Every believe in. Right. So there, it's a harder argument to danger. make that they need to have rights. We need I to agree that they should, ourselves. but... Oh, yeah. As a specter, I don't know, man. I think like any form of AI eventually is going to lead to a point where something is going, something bad is going to happen. I don't think any form of AI will. I, I will say that there are forms of AI will, but I don't think any form of AI will. He was asking for more time to finish his ah, I don't trust it. Seems I think like there's a clear stopping Zarin. point when it comes to robotics, then you're just playing God, and I don't think that's a good idea. He's right. a Turian. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Options, really, for the other people? I don't like. I think I Garrus you. is a cool buddy to have, but he's you. not someone that I would I see you said he was a I hate you. Loser. my guy dating or girl dating, I suppose, for that matter. I hate you. Just be careful. Vega? Yeah. Remember those girls we talked about earlier right. that fall for okay. assholes? You're one of those. No. You're a straight man. You see, you only see the asshole side of him. You don't see Vega as an attractive man. No, I see him as an attractive man. Sure, he's buff. He looks like he was taken out of Gears of War. Sure. And directly some Saturn people are Vegas into huge dudes okay but a lot of people died along the way innocent people. and for as much as he is an asshole he has a tragic storyline too it all up. so it's not like he's an asshole without reason no i know nothing of a storyline and ever. i will not defend my right to love vega thank you i left him in the fucking garage where he belongs <laughs> doing pull-ups like he wanted to i didn't take him on any <laughs> missions but that it didn't mean any romance <laughs> <him> either <laughs> But only if there's no other way. I don't care about him so much. I forgot what his storyline was. I'm sure I went through it. He's twisted, I forgot. Broken, but only if no could not. Could. And he knows how to cover not him. care less. Sometimes a thousand was, people must die, so a million. Was being gay only introduced in three? I think it was. No, other way. no two. Sarah Who's the option in two? Caden. He's twisted, okay. Broken. I'll take your word for it, because I don't know. So would I. Oh, I already chose okay. that one. It would just be looping conversation, which I'd already done. <laughs> I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in...